Welcome back to my shop. <clears throat> Just going to do a retouching of this door that's been kind of water damaged. It's our uh, washroom door and humidity has got to it over the years. Hopefully we'll uh, preserve it and save it for a few more years. I'm just basically going to sand it down, coat it with uh, two, three layers of, of uh, Minwax and uh, hopefully we'll see a, a difference when we're done. But uh, in the meantime, videotape it and uh, see the before and after pictures if nothing else. So I'm going to start by removing all the hardware. That way it uh, doesn't get in my way. Helps if the drill bit stays in place, huh? Set that aside for now. Then I'll take the hinges off. I need a Robertson for that one. Take it out uh, relatively slowly because the last thing I want is to strip it and have to deal with that later. Especially when I'm tightening it back up. I also got a hole here that I don't know how it happened. Somebody forced the door open and it hit the door stop hard enough to break it. So it seems like this door is an open door. I'll probably just uh, probably just take uh, some oak sawdust and mix it with some carpenter's glue, and then uh, and sand it and stain that as well. Uh, it's a method I use for most of my wood turning, so I think it'll work, I think it'll work really well with, with this door as well. Just gonna get myself some coarser sandpaper. I don't want to take too much off, I just want to smooth, rough out the, the varnish and then smooth it out. Unfortunately this uh, sandpaper I have has no number on it, it just says fine or coarse or medium, so of course here's a medium here, let's see. Normally, if I had the, if I had it numbered, I'd probably pick the maybe a 320 grit or 240, something like that. But uh, gotta make do with what I have here in the shop. Still waiting on the delivery of better sandpaper, so if I can never find my scissors, I'll cut myself a slice and start sanding. Here, go. Actually, the oh, there's a medium on here, so okay. I think before I go diving into the medium, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the fine paper a sand, uh, try first, because if the fine does the job, I'd rather go that route than have to go through the taking it all off. So I'll start with fine, and we'll see how we get how far we get there.
All right. I think we're ready. Start by sanding a small corner to see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't uh, do too bad a job. I'll start with this damaged corner. This damaged corner has to be done anyway. quickly you know I'm just feeling for the ridges like here I feel a lot of ridges like the foreigner slipping and as I'm sanding I'm feeling to see if there's any ridges right now it's actually that it's going really well it's actually very smooth so I think before I carry on and finish sanding I'm gonna patch this up it looks like somebody patched it up already that if they did they or they did a really bad job so basically uh, I'll show you how that is done nothing really too complicated. I uh, use my bandsaw, grab myself some oak, you know, hardwood flooring or whatever. I just cut it on the bandsaw, harvest the, the dust afterwards, and uh, that's what I use for, for uh, sealing that hole. It actually does a pretty nice job. Granted, uh, I guess the color is not 100% what it was but at least it's a matched color I just use my compressor here noisy okay so I just blew the dust out of the the bat the vans off pretty much where it's going to collect got a piece of hardwood flooring here. Just going to cut it a few times. Just any cut.
Okay, we'll see how that does. I already got some collection here. Should be enough for the job. Let's get myself some kind of plastic uh, lid to put it in and then I'll mix it with glue. It's really actually a simple, simple procedure. Just to show you a bit, this is uh, this is the oak here that I just collected. So probably enough to fill the hole. We'll, uh, if not, I'll have to cut some more. But I got pretty much everything here. I think that's enough. Well, yeah, let's see if we can show a bit how I do that. It's a little bit uh, tricky with this tripod. It's not the greatest, but... So basically I've got all my stuff here. Just normal carpenter's glue is what I'm using. And any kind of stir stick. I usually use this metal thing here. But. So basically I just put about, sort of like an epoxy thing, put about the same amount of glue. Now the hard, the weird part about this is that the glue is going to get sticky all over you. So I, li I like to throw the sawdust over it first, sort of like, so it doesn't stick right away and then I sort of push it through. And then when it becomes kind of like a paste, yeah, let's see. So basically I'm mixing it here. See, it's already becoming kind of pasty there. That's about what I want. We'll just roll it a little more. You don't want it too dry because you want some glue to come through. <coughs> Pardon me. And then I'll usually use my fingers after at a certain point and just mix it all kind of like like this here kneading dough type thing and that's pretty much what I'm going to throw in there so now I just come to the, the hole here and I just uh, basically push it in and even if it sticks out a little bit more than the hole that's fine I'd rather have that than have to fill it in three or four times. So I'm basically just pushing it as far as it'll go, just to make sure there's no, you know, no airspace underneath or as little as possible. And I'll go left and I'll go down and then I'll go right and just to make sure it gets in every little crevice. Of course, I won't use all of it. It's actually not that bad right there. Like I said, it's better to have it make a little hill. That way, when I sand it, it'll be nice and flush. Unfortunately, I won't be able to really sand that area completely till later tonight or maybe tomorrow depending probably more likely tomorrow so what my intent is today i'm gonna just uh, sand the rest of the door probably min wax everything except for that area and that way i can put it back up so the group kids can uh, can still use the washroom but i'll check to see if they're okay with couple days without without using it that would be the best at the very least i think tomorrow this door will be done okay so i'm not concerned with sanding you know sawdust getting in there because that is sawdust so even if it goes on top of it it'll just help it dry out a bit and there's not that much dust to be made with this sanding anyhow 
So I'll carry on sanding and uh, videotape it as I go. Okay. I'm quite satisfied with how it's feeling anyway. Now I'm debating if I should do these ends. This side's not too bad. That side's pretty bad, so maybe I'll you just keep it to a minimum and just do that one side. I'll just bring these over to the edge of the sawhorse here. Doesn't move, and I'll just sand this. And uh, I think this side's good. I still have yet to decide if I'm gonna sand the other side of this door. It's actually not. It wasn't the side that was near water, so I think I'll probably leave it. It looks fine to me. Too bad. Seems to have taken up everything. I even put my hand on this thing, I didn't even realize that it was a patch, so it's already met my expectations. That all feels smooth. There's a how much dust it took off anyway. So I'll just give it a a wipe. And uh, see if I can find a clean rag somewhere. This spot concerns me. I got some gold all around here, but you can see the water damage is it's pretty bad. I just hope that that min wax will, will be enough to bring it back. The reason I chose min wax is it's a it at least penetrate if nothing else, give it some more protection than it needs. I'm sure there's probably a better method, but I've come to trust it and use it for a lot of my applications, so. Well, that's not too bad. Begin. I'm sure there's probably a lot more uh, prep work that some people would want me to do, but I think it'll be fine. Her saw this trick on YouTube, we'll see. Or not YouTube, but uh, Except for not tearing the edge of your 
tough to use that as a thing. <laughs> Google YouTube. So I'm not planning to use gloss. I have uh, I use high gloss for my, my wood turning, but I'm just going to use a clear satin. Shake it up good. That's what I'm using right here. So hopefully it'll do the trick. Great for furniture, railings, and trim. Fast drying, easy to apply. I know I could use a rag or whatever, but I, I want to use a brush so I can make sure this stuff goes inside the pores and everything. I'll start with that, see how far I go with it. Cover it up. Start with this corner, closest to the camera. Hopefully, uh, I get the results I want. Wow. I don't mind a bit of the sawdust staying on there because it'll mix with the, with the poly and it'll seal in whatever air holes or air pockets that might be there. This is the top of the door. Well, I hope the camera's doing it justice because I think it's looking pretty good. better than it did earlier.
once I'm finished, uh, once this door is done, obviously I'm going to leave it dry. But uh, my intent is to come back, well, it's early enough in the afternoon. Maybe I'll come back in the, the evening and uh, I'll sand it again. Not as heavy this time, like just a light sanding. And um, very briefly, just to smooth out the air bubbles or whatever. And then at that point, I'll, uh, I'll give it a second coating. Because, uh, you know, this door is, like I said, it's exposed to a lot of humidity. And the last thing I want is for it to, you know, I don't want it to be under sealed. I would like rather have two or three coats of poly protecting it than, than just one. So I'm going to go around that patch. Who knows, that patch might be dry enough to, to sand tonight. But uh, usually I like to wait a day, a good 24 hours. Because uh, that glue, even though if it was wood to wood, would dry quite quickly. I just, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure because there's sawdust there and it's more like a thick paste it'll definitely take more than a couple hours to dry. Especially this lower part of the door is really badly, was really badly water damaged. So, just going to leave this little square untouched here. Almost like it was meant to be. Almost, I'm almost completely out of poly now in my tub. So I'm basically right now I'm using the, the reflection of the sunlight. There's a door behind there, and to see if I missed any spots, I see a little spot here. It's rather it's absorbed the poly already, or it's drying up, or I just missed it. The more coats I put, the less I'll see those imperfections. But for now, it's looking really good. Guess I forgot to do this. Just enough poly to carry on.
impressive. You can see the poly's already penetrating in the into the door because there's spots there that are starting to get gray, so that means it's going, it's doing its work. So, according to what you're looking at, I don't know how it'll look until I look on the computer, but from what I see, it looks not bad. Still really dark in this area. That's probably where most of the water damage is. Not much I can do about it at this point. The most I can do is try and preserve the rest and hopefully salvage this door. I think so far it is a pretty good first step. found it informative. I'll videotape the, the next sandings so you can see I always use a, a rag of no importance to me to wipe these tubs down after because I think it looks really good actually pretty pretty happy. By the time I'm done, it should be nice and smooth and I would hope protected for at least a couple more years. That I won't be able to report on until later on when the evidence is in. But she's looking good. <coughs> so until next time, when I bring you back into my shop and do some more work. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.